Is your mother yet back from the market? Mm. Mm -mm. See, here. Yeah. I have got you guys of what you've been disturbing me for all this while. I hope you guys like it. Thanks so much. Yes. Thank Good. you. Right. Thank you very much. Right. Next time, well. if Papa buys anything to this house and you drag it from me, I will deal with you. Next time, I let me to sell it first. Have you heard? Yes. You. Yes. Yes. Why has my food not been served? Um, Papa, it, it's not been long I came back from the market uh -huh. and I washed all these clothes. So now I'm making the food. Will you just touch your god for second mouth? So so simply go and wait at the farm, wash some clothes? Took you almost the whole of the day that you failed to prepare food for the family? No, Papa, the, the weed was much in the farm. So it took me time to finish it. Just like the clothes too included yours, Mama, Mama's own, uh, Chinasa, Oluchi. Will you shut up and stop these flimsy excuses of yours? You, 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 you cost child. 
to see you are, you are you are just as lazy as your mother as hopeless as she now get me something before i pounce on you get me something to eat but i don't understand this what has my late mother done to you that you seize every opportunity to call her names what have i even done to you papa why do you hate me so much Jessimne. so you have the god to still stand here and question me eh? hey if, papa. if you make any move there count yourself out of this family okay now come here eh? come here papa. come here look no. i give you 10 more minutes eh? if my food is not ready you will see what I will do to you. Okay. And those stupid questions of yours, yes, you should go and ask your mother in a... Cindy, how are you? Oh. Uh, um, where are you going to now? Enter now, let me drop you off. No, never mind. I'm almost um, <clears throat> at my destination. Uh, um, Cindy, hold on, hold on. Cindy, uh, see, it's about what I've been telling you before. You know, you've not told me anything about what you think. I have told you all there is to say on this matter. If you're serious, come and see my parents. Hi. She's in the... I... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, look at it this way. Before I can come and see your parents, you and I, we have to come to an agreement and understand... Like I said, I have told you all you need to know concerning this. Bye-bye. Hold on now, let me drop you off. Going on here, Udoka. 
What is going on here? Your Majesty. Excuse me, Father. Mama, what is going on here? Not in Your Majesty. Shattering this boy's ego and ripping apart the peace and unity of this family. Please, Your Majesty, I don't want to go through this issue again. Please, I want to have a peaceful night rest, if you don't mind. No, I, you see, this is very unfair. It's most unfair. Leave me alone. Yeah. What is this? It's most unfair. Yeah, it's very unfair. How could you do this? Thing? How could you? If you have refused to open your eyes to realities, mm. Your Majesty, I, Nora, I will. Nora, I have to change you. You have to change for better. You have to change. Yes, that is exactly what I am talking about. Change! That is what I'm doing. Since you have refused that I will have a peaceful night rest here, I will go back to my chambers and sleep. Oh, God. Please oh, let me know. Come here. What is it? Come, no, Nora. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, <clears throat> so, sir, that is why I've come. You see, I love your daughter so much. And I'll be very happy if you can grant my request. In fact, I'm going to be the happiest man on earth if I can spend the rest of my life with her. Young man, I am confused. Yes, confused. You're saying that I have more than one daughter, so... Which of my daughters are you talking about? Oh, uh, sir. Actually, she told me that her name is uh, Chisimde. I think she's the... Chisimde? That thing? That liar? That thief? She's not what she seems to be. She's not good for you. Well, I, I, I'm not supposed to be saying this as, I mean, as a father. But I have to say it. She is not the one for you. God. Sir, sir, honestly, I never knew she is like that. Oh, she is even worse than that. Worse. She's a thief. She's a liar. She lies even when she's not supposed to lie. Hey, listen, listen, you're, 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 what, what, what is that your name again? And where are you from? Um, actually, sir, my name is Peter. Peter Ibe. Um, I'm from Go, the neighboring village. Look, Peter. As I said before, I can see you are a responsible man, apparently successful too, looking for a woman to settle down with. Jessimbe is not that woman. The experience I had with her mother is what I would never, never wish for the son of my worst enemy. She simply is 100% her mother. But I like you. I like you. And I will help you out. Um, so hey. Cool down. Just relax. Relax. I like you. I want to help you. Even though what I want to do is somehow unusual as I, I mean, I mean, I mean, as, as, as a father, but I will do it for you. I have two other daughters, very beautiful, well-trained, adorable. So, I will invite them for you to make a choice. Just for you, for you. Uh, Aluchi! Chinasa! Hey, come.
Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Oh, oh, okay. Um, angels, how are you? Yeah, fine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mr. Peter. Welcome, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Good. It's okay. You can go back. He is so cute. Mm. He's so rich. Didn't you see his big car packed house? I saw it too. Hey! Mm -hmm. Anyway, Papa told me I've already been chosen as his bride. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. <sighs> Congratulations. Thank you. Aluchi, huh? Papa said that. Yes, it said so. Ah. Uh -huh. oh. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Papa, let me hear a word. Uh -huh. Oh. She's Cindy. She's Cindy. Papa, I'm here. What are you doing? So you do not know that there's no water in this house? Yes. My friend, go and make sure you fill that drum with water. And why is your mother? She went to see Mama Sumadina. All right. When she returns, tell her that I have come to the elders meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Holly, huh? why does Papa hate our stepsister so much? Me, I don't, I don't know. What's my business with father and daughter's problem? Eh? Leave me alone, please. Doesn't it bother you? No. I don't like it at all. Anyways, come, let's go help her. Leave me alone. I'm not going to fetch any water. I'm tired. Oluchi, hmm? you're not going. Mm -mm. I'm tired, I'm not going. Oluchi, you're tired? Yes. See your life. Lazy girl. Me, I'm tired. Don't you know I'm a new bride? I'm not going to fetch any water. New bride indeed. Rubbish. I'm tired! Give me me mame be Abo nye kofulu tubu jo Jason, Papa, what are you standing there doing? Papa, there is something I want um, us to discuss. In the farm? So, what is it? Papa, Mama, it's almost two years since my mother died. And ever since I have stopped going to school. I, I really want to go back to school. All I do lately is, is farm work, house chores and, and menial jobs for people. I want to go back to school like my sisters, Chinasa and Doluchi. I see. And who do you think will sponsor your education? I don't have money for your education. I hope you are not expecting me to go and steal. But Papa, you are the one paying for Chinasa and Oluchi's school fees. And what business of yours is that? Chisimdi, have you grown wings big enough to ask me questions? To order me around? No, Papa. 
It's just that I really want to go back to school. I, I don't even mind paying for the school fees with the money they pay me for the jobs that I do. Cool. Will you shut your trap and go back to work? By the way, who told you that the money you are paid for working for people belongs to you? Madam. Who told you that? Now listen, from this day, I will be the one to negotiate with people and collect the money while you do the work. Did you get that? My friend, go back to work. Papa, this thing you're doing is not fair. It's not fair. I said shut up and work. Nani. Nani, leave that girl alone. After all, she's saying the truth. Woman, will you shut up? Do you think I'm happy she's not going to school? I said shut up if you don't have something reasonable to say. Come on, work. I have said my own. Stop being unfair. I don't like it. Will you shut up and go back to work? <laughs> and you, Ababu, are you still standing there? I said, bend down and walk. Manna, hmm? I hope the girl we are going for a marriage proposal is beautiful and well behaved. Oh, go, don't worry. You know me too well. Don't worry. I can assure you that this girl is beautiful and well behaved. Don't worry yourself. Peter, that question was directed at me, not you. So when we get there, you keep your mouth shut. I warn you, and I warn you again. When we get there, you keep your mouth shut. Let your uncle and I do the talking. That is the due process. Okay? Now that we get there, you start to run your mouth. Yes, sir. Okay. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> papa? Yes, Papa. I went to amend my clothes that we wear when those people come. Yes, Papa. I'll also be on my way. I'm through. Okay, Papa. Yes, Papa. Okay. Hey, it's my father. I just called. Yeah. Yeah. We are expecting some important visitors. I'll be on my way. I'll come and see you next time. I, I, I will miss you. I miss you so much. I'll miss you too. I'll come very soon. When they are gone, I'll come here. Bye bye. You, you, you can't just live like that now. Just soon. Soon. Hmm? It's my father. I know he will not be worried. Just Wajai. Wait, don't worry. Papa, this journey is cancelled. But you can't believe this. That's the girl we are going to her house for her marriage introduction. Hey! Amadio, ah, hey! What do we do now? I wonder what could be the problem. He's not been picking his calls this afternoon. Could it be that they had accident on the way or what? Hi, Papa. Nine. Please, dial the number again. I've been trying. Papa, I'm just coming back. 
I walked almost to the border thinking I would see his car broken down or something. But I didn't see any car. I'm just confused. I don't even know what to think of anymore. He's not picking. What kind of ill life is this? What kind of ill luck is this? Papa, why me today? Why me? Mama! Mama! Take it easy. Don't cry, don't cry. Come back. Mama, see me now. Don't worry. Mama, see me. Don't cry. Stop crying. I'm sure you will come. Papa! Oh, why are you doing like this? Huh? Why did you stop now? You know I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Look, Obi Ade Omo Marine, Obi Ade Omo Marine. Look, you you only pretending you love me, whereas you don't even care about me. But you know I love you. Why you like this? I love you. If really you love me, why have you refused to give me the three thousand naira you promised me uh, uh, to buy that gin? Yeah, you need to understand. I've not been able to convince my father to give me the money. But don't worry, very soon I'll bring the money for you. Please, mm. yeah, mm. please. Mm. Be for sure. Very sure. Be sure. Are you not happy? Mm, I'm happy, small. If you're happy, kiss me, please, small. Let us wait till the three thousand naira come. We'll continue from. We'll continue the kissing from where. I told you I'll give you the three thousand naira. Please, now just kiss me, small, please. Okay, I'll, okay, okay. I, I'll give you kiss, but just one jai. I'll just give you small. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Taking the car to. Why are you taking the car to? I was just trying to go for the errand father sent me. I must still go for an errand with a car. Can't you use Keke or even Okada? Listen, let me tell you. Henceforth, I don't want to use any of these cars. They are my husband's cars and not yours. If you want to drive a car, you gotta get yourself one. Give Nonsense. Did you take any money from the drawer in no. the bedroom? No, no, I did not. Eh? No, I did not. Okay. Chase him, D. Chase him, D. Yes, Papa. Come here. Where is the money I kept in my drawer in the bedroom? Money you kept in, in your wardrobe? No, 
money in my mouth. Look at it there. Uh, uh, money in the drawer in my bedroom. Where is it? I, I, I did not see any money. Uh, you didn't see any money, eh? Uh? Come here. Uh, my children. Did any of you see any money in the drawer in my bedroom? No, Papa, we did not see any money. Papa, no, I didn't see any money. Okay. Did you hear them? Good. So, where is the money? Give it to me now before I pounce on you. I, I swear, I did not, I did not see your money. Neither did I take it. You didn't see the money. No. I can see you want it the hard way, and I will deal with you as a thief, which you are. And by the time I am through with you here, I will drag you around the whole village of Obonabe, announcing to everybody that you are a thief. No, I'm not a thief, Papa. I swear, I did not take your money. Omekanya, the heart of his father. Why are you crying? Father, I was playing with my brother in the living room when mother came and dragged him away. And she abused me to the point of calling me a cursed child. Father, please, I beg you. Who is my mother? How can you ask me such a forbidden question. She is your mother. Then why does she treat me this way? Why is she so inhuman? Why does she enjoy seeing me pain and agony every day of my life? Why is a moment of peace so impossible for me in this palace? Who am I? You are my son. The pride of his father. And the prince of Umun Nabe. So why does she hate me this much? Is it a crime to be born into this household? Does not hate you. See, only that sometimes uh, some people are difficult to cope with. Please, please forgive her. Hmm? I know with time she will change. With time will change. And I will also talk to her. Or to the to what it is. So, you have come to report to your father. So that he will pop by you like he always do. Like a child that you are. <laughs> I don't have any problem with that. You can go on and pump you like a baby. Except that it will never, never. Change the way I feel about you. You get out of my sight, you disgust me.
Remember, as I have always told you, the sound of a flute is the best food for the soul, especially when in anguish. My late father taught me this and gave me the gift of this flute, which was given to him by his ancestors. Today, I pass it on to you so that you pass it to your successors when you become the king of this kingdom. Yes, you will improve with time. You will definitely improve with time. Thank you, Father. Maria, what is it? My, I am worried. Worried about what? I am worried. I am no longer comfortable. Eh? I mean, Nai, how can you be this heartless? After the torture you gave to that girl, you show less concern. Eh? You don't care about her whereabouts. What if something happened to her? Do you think your conscience will ever forgive you? Maria, how long will you live in this village? Before you understand our 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 custom and tradition, eh? That girl must have run to somebody's house, and after evening meal, if nobody comes to take her, they will bring her back home. That is the custom. Papa, can you hear yourself? Papa, can you can you just hear yourself? What if that is not the case, Papa? Oh, what if she simply didn't run to anybody's house? After me, they'll bring her back home. My angel, relax. Eh? If nobody brings her home in this evening, then in the morning, we can go and look for her. We can go and look for her in the morning. Papa, did you say in the morning? Like we should just sleep, relax, and wait in the morning before we go and look for Chisimdi. My angel, I may not have liked Chisimdi very well, but that does not mean I wish her death. So relax. She'll be fine, eh? Oh, this is so unfair. She will be fine. This is so unfair, Papa. This is unfair. She'll be fine.
Steal the money. Tell me the truth. Is between you and I now. No. I did not steal any money. There is no way I will steal my father's money. I did not steal it. Okay. Wipe your tears. I will take you back home and talk to your father. I don't want to go home. I don't want to see my father now. He will. He will kill me. That's what he did to me. He will bury he will me alive if he sets eye on me again. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I will make sure he doesn't touch you again. Yeah? Wipe back. Wipe your tears. Yeah? Amadi! Amadi! How could you have done this to your own daughter? Do you know what she did? Look, do you know what this cost child did? Whatever she might have done wrong, does not justify this good idea on her. You are very lucky. You are lucky I did not hold you properly. I would have squeezed the life out of you. You, Amadi, if you are not my friend, I would have... You, Tinta, in my own house, raise your hand. Will you drop this hand before I dislocate it for you? I said, put this hand down, Tinta. Put this hand down. Sit down! Sit down! I can't hear to talk to you, you have to fight! Sit down! Sit down! Okay. Hmm. Amade, whatever thing you think that she must have done wrong. You know how people say, if you beat a child with one hand, you console that child with the other hand. She is your daughter. Eh? Whatever thing she might have done wrong to you, I plead with you 
to forgive her. Please. It's okay. It's alright, Luther. It's okay. Yeah, you know, you know, I, I can't say no to you anytime, anything. Thank you anyway for your concern. And uh, forgive my manners. It was caused by your initial approach to the issue. <laughs> and thank you once again for your regards for me. You're welcome. You can go inside. Huh? I said get inside. Good. He won't touch you anymore. You learn all these days. It's okay. Actually, a very long story. Long story? Hmm? No problem. I'm a patient listener. Come, let's go somewhere and talk. Yes, come and tell me the long story. You see, sir, that is why I came. She's in the your daughter here. is one of the most brilliant girls in my class. If it's not in the entire school. So it will, it will be so unfair that will allow this genius brain to be wasted just for hockey. So, I am begging that you allow her to come back to school, please. Well, madam, as we all know, things are very difficult in this country now. I can't afford her school fees. Stand perfectly well. But, if you, if you don't mind, sir, I am ready to render help, support her, pick the bills. She returns back to school. Then afterwards, I said I don't have money for her education, and I don't need your help. Oh, do you think we are beggars? No, 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 sir, no, sir. I don't mean to insult you, sir. I'm just trying to render help, sir. Then, then keep your help to yourself. I don't need it. Go to think about it. Are you her mother? You are lawyer or police officer she brought to arrest me because I can't pay her school fees? Madam, leave my house because I am done with you. I can see that you don't even have this feelings for this girl. This is so unfair. It's so uncivilized. How can you be this hard-hardened? We are talking about your child's progress, their future. Why don't you calm down? So, you are here to teach me grammar, Master. Eh? Hey, now, leave my house before you meet an accident. That is the law. I can see that you are so wicked, so unreasonable. Imagine what is coming out from your mouth. We are talking about your child's future here. And look at the way you're reacting. I will leave your house and go. Oh yeah, see her. If you want, kill her. If you don't want, leave her. I'm leaving your house. You see my daughter. Nonsense. So, she went and brought your teacher, you come and insult me in my house? No, Papa. Even when I have told you that I can't afford the bill of your education? Papa, I saw her on my way to the market. I did not know. I said, I don't want to go to the Papa! 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 Papa!
my prince. See enjoyment. How I want to chop this kind of super meal. Marco like me. Ha! See designers meet everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see enjoyment too. You are very funny. <laughs> Eating. But mom, the dining room is the best place to eat. Shut up and spare me that stupid lecture. Have I not warned you not to eat in my dining room? Or do you think it is easy to clean the dining table? And come to think of it, why did you tell me that you wanted to eat with your friend? And who served you this meal with all this meat from my pot of soup? Sorry. Always this idiot here. What kind of embarrassment is this? Will you shut up your mouth? Veronica! Veronica, where is she? You served these two idiots this meal. Did you? Yes, I did. The prince said he wanted to eat with his friend. Man, take this. Can't you take him? The prince said he wanted to eat with his friend, so I served them the food. Was that enough reason to serve them with all the meat in my pot? Now, take this plate, return to the kitchen, and remove all the meat from, from this place back into my pot of soup. And next time you want to serve him food in this house, make sure that I am formally and duly informed about it. Did I make myself clear? Yes, Your Majesty. what's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Is it because I've been keeping quiet? And what will you do? Beat me up, eh? Are you porcupine? When next you enter this palace, remember that this palace is not a cheap book where you quench your hunger. Idiot. Come! Shut up your smelling.
told him that there is a cure for this tuberculosis and that all it will cost for it to be cured is just 2,500 naira and yet he will be bold he has passed you home to come and die Who is going to help me? What am I going to do? If... No, no, my mother will not die. Mama, Mama, nothing will happen to you. Okay, you will be fine. Soon, I will write my SSCE exams and I'll use the certificate and get a good job and take care of you. Oh, my mama, I'll take care of you. My daughter, I like your courage. Thank you for your love and affection towards me. Mama, you don't have to thank me. I am only doing what a girl should do for a loving mother. May God bless you. May God bless you for me. There is something I want you to do for me. I want you to love and respect your father, not minding the way he treats you. Please, take your stepmother and sisters like yourself, so that God will not forsake you even when I'm gone. Let me go. Mama, it's okay. Amen. I've heard you. Say no more. You should stop talking and get some rest. Oh? I admire your faith. It will lead you to your destiny one day. Amen. May God bless you. 
Amen. God bless you, my daughter. <coughs> Sorry. God will bless and protect you. Amen. He will give you peace. <coughs> my it's okay. Stop talking, Obigo. I have heard all you said. I will do as you have said. Don't go. God will bless. Stop talking, please. No, 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 no,
your voice is magical. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Oh. My name is Chisimdi. I am the daughter of Ichi Amadi. What are you doing all alone in this jungle in a sorrowful mood? I'm, I'm sorry, my prince. I wouldn't want to bother you with it. You amaze me. Why would you think I'll be bothered with sharing in the grief of a broken heart? It's a... It's a very bitter story. I don't think any story will be more bitter than mine. Tell me your story, I'm patient to listen. Come, sit down. Sit, go. Your story is indeed a pathetic one. However, it's nothing different from mine. From yours? How can your story ever be compared to mine? You are a prince. You have never known poverty. You have never known suffering. You have never known hatred from a father just like me. You have been used to affluence, royalty, love and care from both parents and dear subjects. I wish my life was what everybody thinks. My story is similar to yours. My story is that of an innocent prince. Hated, humiliated, and maltreated by his mother. I will tell you my story. What? M me? You will tell me your story? Chisimde. Royalty or no royalty, we both share something in common. We are human beings. I really appreciate it. I should be the one thanking you. I feel a great relief sharing my story with someone who understands exactly how I feel. I'm grateful. And I... I wish to see you again soon. At least to listen to your beautiful voice once more. Thank you. Bye-bye.
majesty. Your majesty. Jesus. Your majesty. Can you hear me? Your majesty. Your majesty. Don't do this to me, please, your majesty. Please. Amara! Yes, your majesty. Show my tongue. Rush and call me the guys. Yes, your majesty. Yes, your majesty. Please, please, don't do this now, mm. please, don't do this. <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm impressed. His condition is a lot better than what it was last week. And um, uh, that does not say uh, he's out of the woods yet. We have to watch his condition carefully and uh, watch his diet. Okay, doctor. But talking about his diet, yes. Now, does that Greetings, Father. Greetings, my son. How are you, how are you faring, Father? <coughs> better, better. <coughs> so I'm sorry, Father. Should, should I get you some water? You sent for me, Father. longer than you anticipate. Greater King, our ancestors will guide you. They will guide and protect you, my son. Over my dead body, with that thing. On the throne of Umon Nabe. Oh, I know. It has been your plan all this while. But I promise you, it will work. 
Why are you raising unnecessary doubts to fight this issue? Who do you have? Who do you prefer to succeed me? Who? We are three sons who are abnormal. Or oh, that here useless one, Bori Kenna, who has spent most of his life abroad and does not have even a clue of the traditions of our people. Is he the one who wants to associate me? However, Ikena's behavior could be, he is still your son, a man with royal blood. And for goodness sake, he still has our blood running in his veins. And not that useless and stupid idiot you picked from the dust. Quiet, Nora. I said, quiet. You don't use such forbidden words before me. And the walls are fierce. You think I care? I don't care anymore. It's high time the truth was unveiled. I will not only shout outside this wall, but all over Umunabe, so that everybody will hear and know the truth that Udoka is not our biological son. And therefore, he is not a royal prince. You dare not, Nora. Then, Your Majesty, you should allow our son, Ikena, to have the throne. Your Majesty, why do you love? And cherish a bastard to your own son. You want to know? It's because he is better than all the products of your womb combined. I said it. He is a wizard and he has bewitched you. But he cannot manipulate me. Your son, our son, he cannot, will succeed you. And that's the way it should be. How was the night? You can't deceive me with your smile anymore. I overheard your conversation yesterday. I waited till this morning to come talk to you because I didn't want to worsen your condition yesterday. Tell me, who am I? I'm sorry, my son. Sorry. Sit down. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my son. I will explain everything to you. Don't call me son because I'm not your son. I can't continue to be in the dark. I will explain everything. I will explain everything, please. It's just like, it's just a mystery to me. Your Majesty, I'm happy I married you. Yeah, thank you. Your Majesty, Your Majesty. I saw an abandoned baby. Abandoned, abandoned baby? Yes, Your Majesty. Where? At the palace gate. At the palace gate? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm certain, Your Majesty. A child is vulnerable. A child is lovable and adorable. A child he read peace and joy. He's a boy. Just at the eve of our honeymoon, here is a child that right before our own eyes. A beautiful child. Perhaps he's a blessing from the gods to us. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Stop! I'm
What is it? Your Majesty, it has been three days now since we took in that mystery child. What do we do with him? I have decided to adopt him, take him as my own child, and show him the love and affection he was denied by whomsoever that dumped him there. Your Majesty, we can't take such risk. You don't know his origin. What if it turns out to be a setup from unknown enemies of ours? So what do you want us to do? Take him to the orphanage. No. He will stay here with us. And that is my decision. After uh, we had the uh, Emeka, Ekene and Obina. Unfortunately, they were all abnormal. Later, we had our last son, Ikena, who is uh, abroad. Sometimes I wonder why the gods of our land caused me with three abnormal sons who could have been my successors. When I look at my children, the products of my blood, I weep. I weep, Udoka, because I had expected them, I had wished that they were my source of joy, just like you. As you grew up, your wisdom bravery and good manners warm my heart and my wife envy was kindled because he knew we were taking my love against our own children and now that she has found out uh, you are going to succeed me in the throne the anger turned into a foreign because she wants Ikena. She wants Ikena to take over and succeed me. Now, but, uh, you've heard the true story. I'm sorry. Forgive me. You don't have to be sorry. You give me what what nobody ever gave to me. The life a family, a home. And only God can pay you back for that. But I plead with you. Please let Ikena succeed you when you are gone. Never. 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 You are my son. You are my first son. The prince and the heir apparent to the throne. Not even Nora and the entire Omo Nabe. Nobody. What do we change that? That would be going against the customs and traditions of our people. Which is an adopted child. As a purchased slave. That is the way I want it. Let posterity be my judge. Logan. That is the way I want it. <sighs> Be strong. I understand. I understand what it feels like to suddenly find out that you were not the biological son to the family you have lived all your life. A family you believed to be your own blood. It's sad. But please do not take it so hard on yourself. Accept it as 
Fate. Trust God. Trust God to lead you to where you truly belong. God favors good people. And you are a good person. You think so about me? Thank you. I'm glad I have a friend like you. You have a way of lightening up a grieving soul and putting smiles on a teary face. That pleasure and honor is all mine, my friends. Thank you. But I don't think I'm still worthy of that title, Prince. Today, the Igwe and his household adopted you. You became a prince. And a prince you shall remain for the rest of your life. For what is what? At least now you know the story. Now you can explain all the ill treatments and maltreatments you used to get. I wish... I wish I knew mine. Hello now. Again now. Mm. How are you? How is New York? We are fine. I'm fine. How is school? Oh, good to hear that. I'm listening, son. I want to hear as soon as possible. Yes. It's of great importance. Don't worry. I will explain everything to you when you come back. Like I said, your daddy is fine. You ask too many questions. Daddy is fine. Your brothers are fine. Absi, I don't want you to tell anybody about this our conversation. Because I want your visit to be a surprise to everyone. So don't tell everybody. I said it's okay. Yeah, trust me, your mommy. I'll do so. I'm in charge. My prince. I'll take care of everything. Okay? I'll be expecting you. Yeah, everybody's fine, like I told you, your brothers. Take care. I'll be expecting you back home soon, okay? Decided to bring to your notice the fact that we have heard about your choice of successor, and it is totally unacceptable to us because never in the history of our kingdom has a bastard sat on the throne of Omonebe Kingdom. In the way, be mindful of your language. In the way, he's not a bastard. I adopted him legally, he's my son. And the first son for that matter. Your Highness. Yes. 
Only your true blood, the blood of royalty, can succeed you. It's very sad and unfortunate that your three sons have no more. But you still have another son who can take the task. He cannot your last son. Only you want to. No, he cannot. Knows little or nothing about our custom and traditions. I've groomed Udoga to succeed me. We do respect your highness. We must send for Ikenna and teach him the ways and custom <laughs> of women in the kingdom. And you will learn with time. Yeah? No do not deny that. Part of your no no <laughs> what is it? How could you, Nora? How could you conspire with the elders against your own husband? How could you? Why are you so evil and desperate over this issue? Why? Why, Nora? Your Highness, yes. if fighting for what belongs to my son is considered evil and desperate, so let it be. Don't let me. Don't let me regret the day I married you. Don't let me regret the day I married you, Nora. Igwe, do you think I give a hoot about how you feel? No, I don't. Hmm? All I know is that that bastard, that idiot, will never take over the throne that belongs to my own son. He has already he taken it. Sit on the throne that he has sitting on. He's already sitting on it. He has taken over the throne. He has taken it. He Igwe. has taken it. We shall see to that. Udoka has taken it. Oh, <coughs> he has taken it. <coughs> he has taken it. He has taken the truth. He has taken the truth. Oh, he has taken it. Sorry, he has taken it. The truth belongs to my son. He has taken it. Come. That's still doing the job. Work. Yes, I'm still at it. As you can see, the people making the ridges, they are not true yet. Just because of you. Yes. But I'll soon finish it. Okay. But I'm giving you this money because of what you told me. Eh? You make sure that you come back here tomorrow. I'll finish it. I'll finish it. I will finish eh? it. You, you promise. I will come back and finish it so that they two can conclude their own. Yes. Don't fail. I, I promise. Thank you. Thank Come you. back tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, this is my son. Yeah, that's me. You're welcome. welcome. Come on, man. What's the hand for? Oh, man, this is how it's done. Oh, this is how it's done. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. I'm aware of this. Oh, please, you're welcome. Oh, please, you're wonderful. Mom, how do I look? I look good. Welcome back home. Uh -oh. Why did you get that for? Oh, you get that for? Come here. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dad. <laughs> May you look good. <laughs>
I'm glad. I'm glad to have you, son. But I'm still amazed that he did not inform anybody, any member of this family, that they are returning. And Igwe, he has already told me that he wanted to take us by surprise. Isn't it oh, so? Oh, yeah. So he, he informed you, eh? Yeah, so he did. You see that, um, mom and lion. Mom don't fuck up, maybe. <laughs> she doesn't do that. Okay, be that as it may, you are welcome back to the land of your ancestors. Thank you, thank you, Dad. Sorry, yeah, Mom. Mom, you're dead. Mom, you've got swags, nigga. You've got a lot of swags, and I love that. Oh, my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have it. Oh, man, I'm cut out for that shit, nigga. Just have it. Why don't you have it there? Yeah, man. You look like one of my niggas in the state, man. Yeah, Mom. Mom, man, I love you. I love you. I love you. My son. Now that I've told you the truth about him, I want you to be very, very careful of him. Because he is your enemy. He is a wolf in sheep clothing. Eh? And Benedo smiles on his face, lies great hatred for you. Because he wants to convert the throne. And your father is bent on supporting him. No, man, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, okay? I run the street of New York, you know what I mean? I mean, nobody, nobody, nobody dares fuck away with what belongs to me without getting a shot at his back. That's what's up, mom. That's the rule. My son, I love your courage and straightforwardness. Okay? But this battle is not a battle you're going to win with guns. It's a battle you will win with courage and understanding so that you can be able to win the people's hearts. Okay? Are you serious, Mom? Are you serious? Uh, mom, why is it that Dad prefer him to be king to me? Why? That's what I'm telling you. He is a wizard and he is using his spell on your father. Mom, are you telling me that he uses voodoo? Yeah. Oh, oh, man. But don't worry about that. I will take care of him. You trust me. You know what I can do. I will take care of him, okay? You just calm down, huh? Oh no, I think we've had enough discussion for the night. Uh, just go to bed tomorrow. We talk more. All right, mom. All right, mom. At least I can get my fix, you know. I mean, son, <laughs> I love you. I love you more. But my son, please stop this fix thing. If the elders get to know about it, it will cost you your throne. Come on, fuck that. I, I don't care about them. Fuck them, man. I'm, I, I got a throne. I'm the prince, man. See you more, man. Be careful, son, please. Your Highness. We sympathize with you over your head class during the last time we had a meeting on this issue. And that is the more reason why we must handle this matter with every sense of urgency. Faith, they say, is unpredictable. Your Highness, we have therefore come so that you present to us the heir apparent to the throne of uh, one of the children. And uh, we are all aware now that the gods are very simple. Because your son, Nikena, has come down from the subject I brought. Therefore, the thing is simple now. Eh? Give me the Thanks. You already know my stand on this issue. Udoka, not the Kenna, is the crown prince. The crown prince of this kingdom is Udoka. Abomination. The gods forbid. Source can never be permitted in this kingdom. Also, are you defying the order of your king when his decision is a threat to our tradition? Yes, your highness. Peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. 
There's no need for this deliberation any longer. Your son, Ikenna, has returned from sojourn abroad and must take his position as the crown prince of this kingdom. My fellow elders, do I speak very well? Yes. yes. Igwe, your highness, yes. a woman is here requesting to see you. A woman requesting to see me? Yes, your highness. Tell her that we are in a cabinet meeting. I've done that, your majesty, but she says it's an emergency. Okay, bring that. Yes, your highness. There is no longer the Your Majesty, here she is. Igwe, greetings, my elders. What is surprise? This is with you. 29 years after we last met. 29 years. Hey, what, what, what? I have come to unveil a secret that has been kept all this while. A secret? What type of secret is that? The secret of the seed that sprang from the relationship that we had in the past that ended prematurely. The secret about our son. Our son? Yes, our son. I was a few weeks pregnant before we parted. I came to tell you that fateful day but you gave me the shock of my life. I was heartbroken. In pains and agony, I ran to Gereshenai, where you and I took an oath never to part till death. To take my own life so that the gods will bear witness that I die for my own true love. The love we still right before them. I'm so sorry, Nzube. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. The issue of our proposed marriage was raised today at the council. My father and his chief bluntly refused to endorse it. Please tell me you're joking, aren't you? I'm not joking. I'm not joking. According to our royal tradition, a prince next in line to the throne can only marry a maiden of noble birth. Nobility in our tradition is determined by a family's wealth and affluence. The minimum qualification being that the man of the house must have at least two well-stocked yam bands. As you know, late father could not boast of 22 bars of yam in his lifetime. Please don't mock the memory of my father. I'm not mocking your fathers. Are you just learning of this today? Yes. The council just told me today, as a matter of fact. And you agreed with them? I am a prince, my dear. Next king of Omonabe and the embodiment of the people's customs and tradition. I love you enough to fight for you. And fight for you I did at the council a while ago. But in the end, Verity prevailed and... In short, I'm sorry. I can't give up the children of my fathers for you. They threatened to deny you the throne if you marry me. Yes. And you agreed with them and you chose the throne despite all. Please don't go there, Nzube. Yes. I won't go there. I won't go there, Your Highness. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's all I can say, my love. Thank you. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Let me die than live without a life in me. Let me die than bear these tears and anguish as them they loved my soul. Your life is not yours to take. You do not take that which does not belong to you. Your life is not yours to take, but that of Kyuku Abiyama, the greatest of all the gods. <laughs> I have seen your face, young woman. Yes. You once came here with Prince Omekago to swear a note of love and affection for each other. He has broken the heart. <laughs> He abandoned me today with his seed in my womb <laughs> to marry another. <laughs> then you must leave for the sake of the child in your womb. The gods Reveal to me that the child in your womb has great destiny. What destiny? Only the future. Only the future will tell. Young woman, only the future. I did not eventually kill myself. The gods saved me and the innocent child. I was so confused on how to cope with the baby in my helpless state. One day, I decided to dump the baby before the gate of the palace, hoping that somehow he will find his way to his father, the king. But I hid to watch over him. Fortunately, my dreams came true. Huh? You mean that Udoka is my biological son? Yes, your highness. Kreto, don't mind her. She's a liar. You lie, woman! You are a traitor! She speaks the truth! Beware! Abogiri! The eyes and the mouth of the gods. You are welcome. You come at the right time. Welcome! Prince Udoka is your son, your highness. He is destined to hold the staff of the kingship of Umunebe Kingdom after you. And for his sake, the gods have refused to give you another male eligible to ascend the throne of Umunebe. <laughs> The birth of your three abnormal sons is the result of that oath you took before Ungene with her, which was broken the very day you married another woman. Ungene! has refused to give you another normal male child. Mm. But he has a normal male child. He can now. His son. Ka! Stop that fallacy, evil woman, before the gods strike you dumb. You and I know how you beget that child. 
What fallacy are you talking about? Eyes of the gods. Your ways are confusing. Mm -hmm. Please, explain to me. Dearly, Koala Ask your queen. And him. Oh no. Hmm. When this evil woman realized that her inability to conceive and bear a normal child is your fault, she went to Ndukwe here. Oh no. In her desperate desire to be an heir to the throne, this woman convinced Ono Wu to sleep with her. Oh! Obogri. Hmm! Hmm! She convinced Ono Wu to sleep with her. So that she can bear an heir to the throne and retain her glory as the queen. For she fears that you will marry another wife. Hmm. 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 The result of that adultery is the boy, Itena. What have you to say on this? Deny it, and the gods will strike you dead this very moment. Speak! Check. Your Highness, please forgive me. Huh? It wasn't intentional. Once again, not the son. I was not into it by your wife. And it's still that was. Enough! Enough! Okay. No evil woman. I'm giving you one hour to pack your things and leave this palace with this here forbidden seed, which you have deceived me and fooled me all along. Out! Out! You will now go to court. Now go to court. Oh no! Please, please. You betrayed me. And you are hereby excommunicated from this royal castle. Hi! Out! Hey! Evil. I'm okay. Thank you very much for having helped us to unravel the mystery that would have torn my kingdom into pieces. Also, thank you for helping us to separate the chaff from the grain. Thank you, Lord. I am only but the servant of the gods, your highness. I speak, yes, I speak, but the words are not mine. The gods are wise. This is very unfortunate. The way I left. Very, very unfortunate. I'm sorry. You must understand. It was never intentional. It was not my intention. It was uh, circumstances beyond my control. However, I thank you so much for restoring peace and order in my kingdom, which was almost torn apart by hatred and malice. I thank God that the enemy has left the walls of this palace. Having left the walls of this palace. I wish to make you my king. Because uh, the, 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 the custom and tradition that uh, prevented me from marrying you in the first instance has been abolished. 
It's too late now, Your Highness. I've already moved on without you. Even though I remain unmarried, to keep our past relationship alive. Mother. Huh? Please. I beg you. Return to father. Now that both of you have me, it will make my dream complete. Please. I am very happy. I'm glad God has finally exalted you in all of this. I told you. I told you God never forsakes his own, didn't I? You did, yeah. So now that this is all over, I'd like to ask. Yeah? Chisundi. Will you marry me? Mom, what you talking about? How can you explain that? That, that, that piece of shit is my dad. That ape. Oh, come on, man. You disappoint me for time. You disappoint me for time. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so tired. I don't know how to say this. It's shameful. I'm so ashamed of you. How could you? How could you open your fucking asshole for that idiot? Oh, mom, man. You're an asshole. <laughs> Mom, you have an Indian ass. Ah! You can't even talk to your mother. Fuck your mother. Fuck you, I don't care. I don't care if you're my mother or bad. I don't care. You know what? I don't care. I don't care about this kingdom. I don't care about the throne or any way else or whatever. I don't even care about your tears. They are crocodile tears, no? The only thing I care about is my face. Now listen. You make sure that wherever we're going, I'm going to get my fix every day. If I don't, I'm gonna kill you for messing around with my life. I'm gonna kill you, mom. I'm gonna kill you, mom! Now you pack your freaking fucking things while I go to my room and pack my things. Then we leave. Then make sure that when we're leaving, we're leaving with the car because I'm not ready to work! The ritual for your installation as the crown prince of Umunabe Kingdom starts with your picking a wife. I know, Father. No? Yes, Father. Uh, Mze. By Your Highness. The word should be sent to Abogri about this immediately. Consider it done, Your Highness. Father, there is this meeting I've been seeing for some time now. She's full of virtue. Really? Yes, Father. I have come to seek your permission to bring her home to come see you. You want to bring her home to meet me? Yes, Father. I... I love her so much. I, I have interacted with her and um, I've proposed to her and she's given her consent. Is she from this kingdom? Yes, Father. And uh, who are her parents? Her father is Mazi Yamadi Bwanugo of Idenyi village of the kingdom. Um, and do I have your consent, Father? Hmm. Son? See, you are royal, my son. And I'm the king. Uh, even if I'm going to give you the consent, it's definitely not now. Father, the girl in question is... Please understand me. I'm not saying I'm not giving you consent. Uh, 
but I'd like to, to give me some time to get back to you. Yes. Okay, I have heard what you people said. Mm -hmm. Indeed, it is an honor to have you here. Mm -hmm. eh, but the girl in question that our prince here is proposing to marry is not my biological daughter. She is a bastard. I decided to accommodate in my house since her childhood though i have kept this a secret all this while but considering who is involved our honorable prince here and in fact our custom and tradition which says that a prince should not marry a girl of such level such background well i have to open up so please this arrangement cannot work now what are you talking about she she told me you are her father. My prince, she lied. She lied to you. I am the one, as a titled man in this kingdom, who knows the gravity of lying to royalty. I am the one to tell you the truth. She is not my biological daughter. So please, it can't work. Huh? How could you let me embarrass myself before the elders, my family, and in fact the whole kingdom? Why did you lie to me? Why didn't you tell me you were not his biological daughter? Why didn't you tell me he had not told you why? Why? My prince, he lied. He lied to you. I have lived all my life knowing that man as my biological father. Despite all the odds, he is my father. How was I supposed to know that he would lie to you? Saying that I, that I am not his daughter? How? Will you stop lying to me, will you? Stop lying to me. I don't know who to believe anymore, whether you or him. I don't know. You told me everything, how he maltreated you, how he made you go through so much. But the very simple, basic truth, you couldn't tell me. Why? No. You know what? Our engagement is over from henceforth. I don't want to set my eyes or have anything to do with you again until this whole thing is clear. Ah! My wrist! <laughs> 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 What have I done to you? What have I done to you to deserve this kind of wickedness? Why is it that you will stop at nothing to ruin anything that will be a source of happiness to me? What have I done to you to deserve this kind of wickedness? What? My daughter, please calm down and tell us what the problem is. Mama, are you aware that the prince and his people were here yesterday for the marriage rites? Of course, my daughter. But I had to leave because you know it's not a women's affair. Papa touched my image in their presence yesterday. He told them that I am not his daughter. That I am an adopted bastard. That is what a man I call my father said to my tutor. And it's not even the first time he is doing it. He did it before I kept quiet! And now it's happening again! What have I done to you? Jesus! Papa! Now you tell me it's not true. What is not true? How could you? The truth is bitter, but it has to be told. So, Baba, what is the truth? Tell us the truth, let's hear you. Well, if that is what. You want. 
It is time I let her and the rest of you know the truth. Yes, Chisindi, you are a bastard. Your mother could not give me a child after nine years of marriage. That was before I married Maria here. But sadly, she took in after being raped by a better <laughs> You are the result of that pregnancy. I hated you. I hated you right from when you were conceived in your mother's house. I wish I had a way to kill you, but your mother kept protecting you from me. So I swore I must make you feel the pains your evil father made me feel. By 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 raping my own wife. Yes. We are here to find out. <laughs> he needs to be left alone. I want you to wait for him at uh, the visitor's room. Thank <laughs> you. 
Father, greetings. That beautiful and morally stronger women. I can arrange for a ceremony for bride selection, if you don't mind. Thank you, Father, for your concern. But that won't be necessary. Mm. Well, if you say so, if you say so, but you have to ease up. Uh, Father, let me get some fruit wine for you. Doctor, from the look of things, his condition is getting worse by the day. Please, what is his fate? Madam, I have to be frank with you. Though what you are about to say is unprofessional, coming from a trained doctor like me, I think his case is spiritual. Since we cannot ascertain the true cause of his illness, despite a series of tests carried out on him, It went well. Mm. How is Papa? His condition is worse today. Poluchi, your sister, has not stepped out of his room because of that. Oh. God, what kind of thing is this now? Hey? What kind of sickness is this? Hey! Oh. Hey, Mama! So, was this man of God I was told about? They said he's from a more village. I heard the man perform miracles. Mama, he even heals Ebola. Nah. Which one is Ebola again? The one people call AB. AB Ebola. Ha. That evil disease? How possible is that? I know it sounds like a fairy tale, but I know there is no harm in trying. You don't have any other option, you just have to give it a try. Do you think it will work? Because I don't trust all these pastors. What most of them do is to defraud people of their money. Mama, we can't just sit and do nothing. Once condition is getting worse, we just have to do something. Chinasa! Chinasa! Aluji! Aluji! Yes, Mama! Yes, Mama. Check who is at the gate. My prince. Peace be unto this household. So what do we owe this honor, my prince? I'm looking for Chisimde. She no longer lives here. What do you mean she doesn't live here no more? Where is she? I can't 
tell. She left heartbroken and did not tell anybody where she's going to. What happened? My prince, it's a long story. I am a patient man. My prince, I hope you wouldn't mind our seat. I will not tell anyone I saw you here. But I still suggest you go. Um uh, Cindy. Alika. What are you doing here? Hmm. I am asking you, what are you doing here, Cindy? It's a long story. Long story. I suggest you go home. Even if your story is longer than River Jordan. Go home. <coughs> Alika, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. <coughs> <coughs> Alika, please. Don't tell anybody you saw me here. Oh? Me, Alika. I cannot know. I will not tell anyone I saw you here. But I still suggest you go home. Um, Cindy. Um, Cindy. I advise you take a little of this to shine your eyes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't want to shine your eyes. I don't want. <laughs> I will not tell anybody. I cannot look. I will not tell anybody, huh? I will leave you here now. <laughs> I will not tell anybody.
Have your way, Lord. Have your way, have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Oh, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Must be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. By my spirit, says the Lord. Oh, Holy Spirit. Brethren, stretch out your hand to receive the gospel. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in your words, you said by your stripe we are healed. Amen. Father, heal the sick in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Father, heal the sick in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, you healed the blind. Yes. You healed the sick people in, in the past. Father, therefore, I stand in your words and pray that this Sick must be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For that this sick must be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For I thank you, Lord, for the prayer answered. Amen. I pray and I believe that He is healed. Amen. Holy Spirit, yes, Lord. have your way. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. For I pray and believe that you have answered me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As I anoint you with this oil, I say, Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, hallelujah, amen! Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, hallelujah! Oh God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Nah, don't worry, don't worry, nah. Don't worry. Oh God, I thank you. All glory goes to God. For he made it possible, not me. I'm only his servant. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. I have a confession to make today. For it's God that sent me here, this hour, to do so. So many years ago, many, many years ago, I wasn't a priest. I was a puppet in the hand of the devil until God arrested me for his ministry. Back then, I committed a lot of sins. I drink, I smoke, I committed fornication, I lied, and worst of it all, I was a dreaded arm robber who terrorized this community. In fact, the occupants of this house were some of my victims back then.
You. Hey! So, you were that wicked man who took my brother's money and raped my lovely wife, thereby shattering my whole life and happiness. You! My brother, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. In fact, like I said, I did all that as an instrument of the devil. But today, God has delivered me from the claws of Satan and anointed me with the power of the Holy Ghost. However, I did not rape your wife that night. Don't deny it! You did! Don't you dare lie to me! Because before I passed out, I heard her screaming. You did it! No, God forbid. I cannot lie. I am very certain. I never raped your wife. I wanted to commit that ugly sin, but fortunately, God intervened, and I suddenly felt pity for her. Well, please, please. Wait, I'll, I'll give it to you. Take it. Don't kill me. Please, I beg you in the name of God, please. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, please. Yeah, I will not. And now, you know what? Pull off your clothes. Please. Please. Pull off your clothes. Please. 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 Please don't kill me, please. Don't do this, please. I don't, I don't have much time. I'm just okay. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Continue like this. You cannot be going through this emotional torture all because of the money stolen by those robbers. Rather, we should be thanking God that He spared our lives and that your brother, whose money was stolen for the building project, understood. It is not about the money. It is not about the money, Machi. How would you want me to feel knowing that you were violated under my own roof by another man and I could not help it? How would you want me to feel that you are carrying another man's pregnancy under my roof? That dear devil! You are carrying his pregnancy! No. Obi, but I've no. told you several He did not touch me. He, he, he changed his mind. Stop consoling me with that lie! Stop! Imagine you could have connived with the medical doctor to lie to me that you were not raped. Even when this pregnancy has exposed your life, you are still denying, you are still... Amadi, he did not rape me! 
He did not. Yes, he did. He did not. He did. And listen, Maji. I do not want you to deny this anymore. And I never want to discuss this again with you. Never. Fine. I agree. You don't want us to discuss it. I will not. You don't want me to deny it. I will not. In fact, from now on, I will tell you exactly what you want to hear. Amadi, he raped me. I'm going for this, you know. Except what never happened. No wonder. No wonder she never argued about it again anymore. Whenever that topic was raised, she only cried. God. I never believed her. Uh, Uncle, this is not time for all this. This is time. thing is this. Where else do we search for her? We have combed all the places we think she could be. But no way. Oh God, see. Mm. I am I am I am so irritated with myself. How could I have done all that to her? And I, how do I see her now to apologize? Papa wait. Wait first. Let's find out first. Can't you see we have a serious conversation? Please, Alika. Eh? Alika lizard. If you have come here to bed today, not today. Please, Ruba, to your tent, O Israel. Go to your house. See your Luchi. See your Luchi. See the 
this balloon? See this balloon, bro. Hey! See this balloon. You are talking to me like that. See this balloon, Papa. Papa, Papa. And it's like calling me a blow blow. You are a blow blow. You should have said blow blow. All the time, you are you are balloon. You are balloon. And it's like that. And it's like that. Please, we are not in the mood for all this. So why are you in my house? What kind of insult is this, now? Is it because I came to your house? I, I said, why are you here? Uh, well, I, I heard you are looking for Simbi. And I have come to show you where she is. Did you say you know where she is? I know where she is. But for this insult... Alika, sorry, I'm no more a lizard now. I'm sorry. Don't be angry, please. Forgive my sister, please. Come and show us where Cindy is. Please, I beg you, please. You know where she is. You will show us. So... Three bottles of... Oh, mpa. Three bottles of... Okay, come. I'm going to make it five. I'm a senior in what? Only five bottles of water. Hey! Nay, Amadi. Oh, yeah. You be top Nadu. That is why I like you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. can never stop destiny. What will be, will surely be. Come and see her. Oh. Alika, why? Why now, eh? She's in the, forgive me. It is Umpa. It's Umpa. Now what are you people doing here? What have you come to do? Have you come to inflict more pain on me? No, go away. Or have you come to watch me wallow in so much anguish and loneliness? Go home! Please, you people should go home to your house! Please, just in the, I have realized that I was wrong about what I said to you and the way I felt about you all this while. Please, I have realized that you are my own blood. My first child. Something I never knew in the past. Please, my dear. I regret all my obnoxious actions towards you. I know, I know I'm not worthy of your forgiveness. But please, please, I know. For my sins against you are so terrible, considering how much pains I've inflicted on you. But please, my child, for the sake of the same blood that runs in our veins, please forgive me. Forgive me, I will make it up to you, I promise. Give me a second chance. Give me a second chance. And I'll hold it so tight. I will shower you with an undying love from a father to a child. Please. Please. Please, what? Please, my daughter. For the sake of God, please. Please, Cindy. Please, Cindy. Let's unite again. In a family bond that could never be broken. And let the light of love shine in our hearts endlessly. Please, I beg you. Please, Cindy, please forgive Papa and forgive us. We are sorry. 
And forgive me too. I'm very sorry. Please. Please. Chase him, they. Forgive them. And forgive me too. And forgive um, pa. Even Jesus forgive you and forgive all of us. Hmm? Even this blue blue here insulted me. I forgive her. No, oh, please forgive Umpa. All of us forgive us. <laughs> forgive us. Yes, please. Please just please. 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 Each time I look at the two of you, I see a perfect couple, a future full of hope and happiness. Congratulations, son, for finally finding your missing rib. Can I have a word with you, son? What is the matter with you, son? I noticed your cold expression towards her. Isn't she beautiful enough for you? Don't you love her? Mom, love is not all about beauty. Love lies in the heart. Yes, I don't love her. My heart lies with someone else. The one you told me, I guess. Yes, Mom. I love her so much. It's difficult to let go. Mm. My son, you have to. You and I know why it didn't work out between the two of you. Sometimes, the things we cherish most are the things that can never get within our reach. And such is the circumstance here. Please, my son, put her behind and move on. Rose is a nice girl. With time, you will learn to love her. I hope so. I know so, son. Now I want us to go back. And I want you to be as friendly as you can. I beg you, man. Greetings, Your Majesty. I'm sorry for the interruption, but my prince, someone is here to see you. Me? Are you expecting someone? No, Father. But Greetings, Your Highness. You? What are you doing here? What are you looking for in this palace? You think I haven't heard the truth? How you tormented that innocent girl until she ran away devastated and heartbroken? What have you come here to do? Please. Please, my priest. Forgive me. I do not owe only her my apologies. But also you, my prince, for feeding you with falsehood the time you came to ask her hand in marriage. I was blinded with malice and hatred against her as a result of an incident that happened years back which made me believe that she is not my true child. But only yesterday did I realize that she is my true child, my own blood. After treating her maliciously all this way, please forgive me. Forgive me, you please. Commander. Yes, Your Highness. Rise up. I speak like a man. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. You cannot go. Um, Your Majesty, many years ago, when I married her mother. It's 
okay, my daughter. Stop crying. I understand how you feel. I know you love my son. Perhaps both of you are never meant to be. Very soon, God will give you your own man. <laughs> the man that will truly love you. And will never give up on you for another woman. Stop crying. I've tried talking to him, but my son is too optimized. His mind is made up on her. And there is nothing anyone can do about it than to give them a blessing. <laughs> Please stop crying. Wipe away your tears. It's okay. Mama, it's painful. I know, I understand. I feel your pains. Okay, you are a very pretty lady. It's okay. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, my daughter. Sorry. I'm so glad that both of you are finally together. <laughs> At last, my son's wish has come true. I cannot see why he is insisting all along on you. As an elder, I can see, and I can see without any doubt that you are a rare gem. Sos family will be very stable, having married a virtuous woman. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you. Thank you for having faith in us. I promise never to disappoint you. But please, Father, stop talking about death because you have so many more years to live with us and you will leave to carry your grandchildren. Thank you. Thank you. And remember blessed. Amen. Amen.